Hey guys, Break here. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how I have made millions of gold in the past few days with Inscription and how you can still make millions of gold in Shadowlands with Inscription, even if you're on a high populated server like me. Lots of people have been saying that Inscription has kind of died on their server and whilst the profits aren't as good as they were, I'm still making hundreds of thousands of gold every single day just with some very simple methods. And speaking of gold, I am doing a 1 million gold giveaway, so please see the link in the description to the video where I explain more about the giveaway and how you can enter. Now to start with, you do need Inscription and Shadowlands Inscription level 80. You don't have to be max level, uh, my scribe is only level 51. And I leveled Inscription really, really quickly, as you may have seen on my Gold Gap Challenge. Literally, you can look up a guide, but basically you just make a few things very cheap and you have level 80 inscription. Anyway, the basic idea is you want to mass mill death blossom and then mass mill some nightshade and basically turn all of those things you mass mill into ink and then turn the inks into cards and then you're done. Anyway, I'm going to show you a very simple method for how you can do this in practice. If you want to get complicated with it and try and work out the exact profits and whether it's profitable, then Death Blossom, a thousand Death Blossom turns into 140 Umbrals, 140 Luminous, something around that, and like five or six Tranquils. But I just like to do the 60 20 method, so I'm going to spend 60k on Death Blossom and I'm going to spend 20k on Nightshade. So 60k on Death Blossom will be about 3,000, 2,500. So we'll spend 60k on that. And we will spend 20k on Nightshade. And of course you guys can do this differently. You can spend 6k and 2k, you can spend 600 and 200, you can spend sort of 800 and 300 or whatever the ratio is but that's the basic idea that I like to go for for the kind of regular non-professional maths expert gold makers who can work out all of the complicated stuff we're going to be doing it very simply and then you mass mill everything so we will mass mill the nightshades to get all those lovely tranquil pigments and then we will mass mill the death blossoms then you simply turn everything into the inks. And then once you're done with all that, you simply craft the Dark Moon decks. The great thing about this method is that you always have a little bit of Tranquil Ink left over, which you can use to turn your blank cards, which you'll probably have got, into the all the different things and basically it works out pretty perfectly. Look, we're going to have the exact right amount of Tranquil Ink. So this sort of ratio really does work well and it doesn't really matter if you don't have enough cards to turn into a deck. You can always go on, to, if you're only missing say one of the cards to make a deck, you can always go on the auction house and buy that one card if it's cheap. But to be honest the cards sell almost as well as the decks so Selling the cards is just fine. Now the total value of all of these is 110k, if my maths is correct. So that is great. We have ourselves uh, 30k profit, just like that. Now some people say that's not amazing, but you know, 30k profit from 80k spent in about 15 minutes or however long it took is really not bad at all. But usually I do this with like a million gold or 800k. I do. Um, 600k and 200 instead of 60, 20, 600 and 200. And then instead of making 30k, I'd have just made 300k. And uh, making 300k is very, very decent. Anyway, that is that for this video. I hope you guys found it useful. I hope you guys can use the 60 20 method or kind of look up the exact ratios if you want to be more specific. And don't be frightened by the kind of dropping deck prices, because guess what? The herb prices are dropping as well. And there should still be some gold for you to make. Anyway, 
thank you very much for watching and until next time see ya